So it might be the first thing that we see, but it is terribly misrepresentative of overall human diversity. Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Rutherford, and I'm a writer, presenter, geneticist, and the author of How to Argue with a Racist. The problem with the idea that some races are superior to others is that races don't exist in a biologically meaningful sense. To establish the idea of superiority is an absolute nonsense and ahistorical, non-scientific uh, understanding of the diversity of people around the world today, effectively constructed in the 17th century by Europeans. The way we talk about race in the 21st century and for the last few hundred years is primarily determined by skin colour, by pigmentation. The problem with that is that it's an absolutely terrible way of classifying humans at all. There are 1.3 billion African people, there are 42 million African Americans, and there's a whole range of pigmentation around the world. Within the continent of Africa, pigmentation is far, far more diverse than in the rest of the world put together. So it might be the first thing that we see, but it is terribly misrepresentative of overall human diversity. Is it specific to black people, to East Africans? No, it is not. It is a genetic advantage which exists in many different people around the world. There will be a time in the future when people of non-African descent will compete in the 100 meters and in long distance races. Sport is a cultural as well as biological activity. There is a long-standing anti-Semitic and racist trope that Jewish people, particularly Ashkenazi Jewish people, are better at endeavours that, that involve our cognitive abilities than involve intellectual abilities. And certainly um, there is a disproportionate representation in many areas such as music, Nobel Prizes, uh, the sciences of Ashkenazi Jewish people. The idea that therefore they are better with money or that these behaviours are biologically encoded is an absolute nonsense and in fact a far better explanation for the success of Ashkenazi Jewish descended people in intellectual pursuits is that there is a great tradition of scholarship within that cultural grouping of people. It's often said that because uh, Islam is not a race and Muslims are not a racial group that you can't actually be racist against Muslims. Well, racism takes many different forms and cultural racism is, is as applicable uh, as any. It's all prejudice, it's all bigotry. Of course you can be racist against white people, that is absolutely possible, but it doesn't go to the heart of what racism is, which is an affront to human dignity based on power. Historical power, existing power, power structures that reinforce stereotypes and prejudice and bigotry against particular groups of people. When all you've known is privilege, then equality can feel like oppression. So it is possible to be racist against white people, but it is not nearly as significant as the structural racism that affects all people of uh, different ethnicities, BAME people around the world and particularly in Europe and Britain today.